Hey everyone, today we're diving into an epic build, The Lighthouse. So get ready to embark on an imaginative journey as we construct a lighthouse. Subscribe, unsubscribe, hit that like or dislike button once or twice, and let's bring this beacon of creativity to life together. Let the building adventure begin. First of all, what you want to do is lay down a flat foundation. It doesn't really have to be very wide or very long. It's just, I guess, a nice square, big square. And lay down some campfires, obviously, because when it gets dark, you want to, you want to see. Next, you want to choose the widest rustic door and after that, select the rustic wall beside that wide door. Now place the rustic wall behind the door and make sure four spaces are stinking out. I think it's eight spaces wide, so four inside behind the door and then four sticking out from the door. Just do what I do. So you're going to place another wall diagonally connected to that wall. And what you want to do is choose the, the wall under the wide rustic door. So it should look like this. Next, you want to add a wall that has a window, but make sure it is the same width as the wide wall. This goes the same for the other walls behind that wide wall. So at this point, you're just stacking. It should be really easy. But one thing is when you add the wall, the wide walls, I mean, make sure, because if you see in the corner of those wall, wide walls, it has like these little brown like it's pieces of wood <laughs> make sure they're pointing out outside not inside your tower or your lighthouse Now here comes the easy part. We just have to lay down the stairs and this is up to you on the last set of stairs you guys are going to put on the top. If you want to add, you know, extra steps, um, you can use the, the floor as, as a way to, you know, I guess make it level, but it's up to you guys.
So on this final stack, we're going to make it into a square. What you want to do is get an open door and place it on top of the wide walls. After you've done that, you're going to connect, I guess, finish connecting the square by using lumber walls. Now just follow what I do. What you want to do is choose the last thin castle flooring tile and you're going to lay, lay it down. As you can see later on in the clip, I, I also tr you know extended this last set of stairs. This is optional. Um, don't forget that when you're going upstairs that you need to have room to you know get out as you can see in the video. Now you have much more freedom on the roof. You can choose whatever roof you would like to put on. And after you finish putting the roof, you can put fences, or railings I mean, on top of the roof. So, you know, I guess to make it look much more cooler.
So we're almost done. Now what you want to do is choose the the last thin castle floor and tile. Two of those actually make up the length of the square. Now what you want to do is place three on each side. That's that's the length of the walkway around the lighthouse, but you don't have to do that. And for the fencing, I it's really up to you what you would want to put down just follow along what I do So what I'm doing right now is making a watch house. You you have to understand what I'm doing right now is optional. You don't have to do this. Everything from beyond from this point on is optional in this video. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a pillar in on top of that pillar I'm putting a floor tile and on top of that floor tile I'm going to put a campfire. So really you guys have finished or well, like later what I'm doing in this video is showing um, I'm, I'm actually speeding up the video but I'm showing all what you can do decorations um, scenery and you know etc 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 so enjoy the rest of the video of me speeding through decorating and all that 